Okay, now that we've completed the installation of the Vortex ball roller, now we can go over its operation. Now, but as when using any power equipment, you're going to want to wear some safety glasses. In addition, the ball roller does produce some lead dust, so it's probably not a bad idea to wear a dust mask when operating the Vortex ball roller. All right, so to get started, <clears throat> just take one of your cast round balls as they come out of your mold, place it in the ball cavity, and lower the rotary head until it touches the ball. Now you don't want to put a whole lot of pressure on there because you'll knock the ball out of round, particularly if you're using pure lead. All right, so you just want to come and touch and contact with it and then turn on the drill press. While it's running, you want to bounce the rotary head about once a second onto the ball. And after about five to six seconds, turn off the drill press. Then you can raise the rotary head and you can extract the ball. Now, the ball does become warm as a result of work hardening while it's rolling around and being worked by the Vortex ball roller. So it gets a little warm. So you want to be careful when you reach in there and take the ball out because if it gets real hot, it can burn you. So be careful with that. Okay, so let's go over that again one more time. We take our raw cast ball and we place it in the ball cavity. Lower the rotary head until it touches the ball and then turn on the drill press. Bounce the rotary head on the ball about once a second for about five to six seconds and then turn off the drill press. Do not raise the rotary head until it's come to a complete stop. Otherwise the ball may get ejected out of the ball cavity and it could, could possibly cause some injury. So there we go, our finished ball. We'll do it one more time. Here's our raw cast bullet, round ball, 69 caliber in this case. You put it in the cavity, lower the rotary head, turn on the drill press, and bounce it. Turn off the drill press, raise the rotary head, and extract the ball. And it's just that easy. And you can see you could go through an entire container of round balls here in, you know, a half an hour maybe. So that's it. Thanks a lot.